In this video, we're going to review how we solved quadratic equations such as x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0, and demonstrate how this is... this one method is not sufficient to solve any type of quadratic equation. For example, x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 0. In the past, what we've done with this first equation is we would look at factoring something that equals 0, because if one of those factors would have to equal 0. And sure enough, with factoring this, we would end up with x plus 2 times x plus 3. And then we could say one of the factors, either x plus 2 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. We could quickly solve those by subtracting 2, giving us our first possible solution of x equals negative 2 or subtracting 3, giving us our second possible solution of x equals negative 3. And so in the past, what we've said is it has solutions of negative 2 and negative 3. However, this method is very limited, because it requires us to be able to factor the expression x squared plus 5x plus 6. What if we had an equation such as x squared minus 2x minus 7? If we were to try and factor it, we would want to multiply to negative 7 and add to negative 2. But with a little bit of work, we would find out that is impossible. The only way to multiply to 7 is 7 times 1, and neither of those are going to give us negative 2. However, that does not mean this equation has no solutions. In fact, the solution to this equation is x equals 1, plus 2 square root of 2, and x equals neg... or sorry, positive 1, minus 2 square root of 2. There are solutions to this equation, we just can't find them by factoring, and so that generates the need for a second method in order to solve these equations. And that second method is based on the idea that it is very easy to solve an equation such as x plus 5 squared equals 18. If we could somehow have something squared on the left side and any old number on the right side, this is easy to solve using the even root property. We could just take the square root of both sides. Square and square root are inverses, giving us x plus 5 equals, because we're getting rid of an even exponent, we need the plus or minus, and 18 is 2 times 9, 9 is 3 times 3, so we can pull a 3 out of the radical and leave a 2 inside the radical. And then we can isolate the x by subtracting 5 from both sides. This gives us x equals negative 5 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 2. These are the solutions to the equation x plus 5 squared equals 18. So what we're going to try and do in this section is if we can't factor the problem, we're going to try and convert the equation x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 0 into some form of an equation where we have a perfect square equals a number. The way we do that is going to be reserved for a second video. For now, we're just demonstrating why the original method that we had at the beginning of factoring does not work for all equations.